have you wondered if you were allergic to medication or you were just manifesting a side effect to the medication or your body is just very sensitive to this particular medication in fact most people have said at one point or the other that i'm allergic to a medication but not every bad reaction is really an allergic reaction now understanding the difference between an allergic reaction or just a side effect to the medication uh, can literally save your life and prevent confusion in your medical care. And the reason I say so is because in my practice, I've seen many patients who have come to tell us that they have allergy to medications where it was only, it was just a side effect. And we needed to give them that particular medication to save their lives, especially in certain conditions like sepsis or if they are very, very sick with an infection and we couldn't give them medication because they said they, have, they had allergies to it. Meanwhile, it was just a side effect. So today we are gonna make a difference between what a true allergy is and what a side effect to medication is. What is a drug allergy? A drug allergy is an immune response to a medication, it's an immune system reaction. When your body mistakenly um, takes the medication as a harmful intruder, and therefore releases certain chemicals like histamines, which is the main substance that causes those reactions that people have when they have true allergy. And some of the symptoms that people experience with true allergy include a rash, hives, itching, a swelling of the face, lips, tongue, shortness of breath, wheezing, a sudden drop in blood pressure, and some severe cases, they have anaphylaxis reaction, which is a life-threatening condition where if an intervention is not done immediately, the person can die. For example, people complain that they have penicillin allergies, right? That's the most common one we see. And in fact, about 10 percent of people who reported that they have allergy to penicillin, when they were truly tested, only 1% of those people had true allergies. That's huge because in the hospital setting, when we want to give antibiotics to a patient and they tell us that they have true penicillin allergies and we have to give them certain medications, it brings a huge confusion because we cannot give it to them if they are very sick. So we found out that 10% of the people who said they have allergy to penicillin, only 1% actually had a true allergy to that medication manifesting the symptoms that I just listed above. So what is then is a side effect to a medication? So now that you know what a true allergy is, what is a side effect to medication? A side effect to any medication is an expected uh, or a known response uh, that is not due to an immune reaction to immune system. It can be sometimes uncomfortable or even serious, but it's not a true allergy. It is something that your the medication that you are taking can produce in your body, um, but it's not an immune response. For example, somebody has a nausea after they took they took antibiotics. That is not an immune response. That is just a side effect to the medication. Or if you feel drowsy when you take an antihistamine like Benadryl, that's not an allergic reaction. That is expected in some people. Or if you had a stomach upset after taking some painkillers like ibuprofen, Advil, naproxen, NSAIDs, um, that can also be just a side effect to those medications. Or if you have a dry mouth after taking some antidepressant, or some people actually take codeine and they have stomach upset, nausea, sometimes vomiting, that is not an allergic reaction, but it is a side effect. Or they take oxycodone, most of the opiates, and they have nausea, vomiting, that's not an allergic reaction. That is just a side effect. So that is the difference between a side effect and allergic reaction. One is immune system response and one, the other one is a non-immune system response. And also there is something we call drug intolerance or sensitivity. Now, what is that? Some people react strongly to a small dose of certain medication. And this is called drug intolerance. They are not an allergic reaction, but they just have a low tolerance 
to the normal effect of the medication. For example, some people when they take caffeine, they feel very jittery. Whereas other people can drink tons of caffeine a day, they will never feel jittery. Why? Because one has a low tolerance to the normal effect of the caffeine and the other one does not. So that is not an allergic reaction, but it's just an intolerance or hypersensitivity to the medication. Or somebody has stomach cramps for taking codeine, again, that is just an intolerance or super sensitivity to the medication. So these are the differences between the three, allergic reaction, which is immune response, and then um, side effects, which is expected, this is some of the reaction that your body mount to some of these medications, and also drug intolerance. Now, what do you need to do if you suspect you have a reaction? Number one, stop the medication immediately and report it to your physician. And number two, tell your doctor exactly what happens, whether this is a side effect or an allergic reaction to it. And if you really want the diagnosis to be done well, then what you need to do is to see an allergist to do a testing. So the bottom line is that not all medication reaction means that you have an allergic reaction to the medication. Knowing the difference between a true allergy, which I listed above, or a side effect or drug intolerance, uh, help your doctor to choose a safe, effective treatment for you when you need it and to when you truly, truly need it. So again, remember, a true allergy means that you have an immune system attack. Whereas a side effect, the natural body response, and also when you are not sure why you're having a reaction, seeing an allergist will be the best thing to do. So now, if this video has been very helpful to you and you'll be able to know the difference between a true allergy, a uh, side effect, or a uh, drug intolerance, then I want you to give me a like and subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends, and come back here for your weekly tips for your medical conditions. Until then, Dr. Moses, I'll see you on my next video.